of course, your CISO, and then different teams, you know, R7 come to R7 conference, you know, as you also said, this is one of the biggest conferences. But can you talk about some specific themes or topic that either from CISO's perspective or developer's perspective or DevSecOps perspective that people should be thinking about or looking at when they look at these conferences? The nice thing about these larger conferences is they try to organize their, their sessions into tracks. So you can say, I'm a developer, I wanna see the developer track, or uh, I'm an incident response person track, or for me, a leadership track. And, and so on the CSO side, there's been a lot of discussion lately on two folds. One, what should we be doing uh, to guard the company? And, and so the biggest splash I saw um, was around materiality again. Um, and, and that has two sides. Are we understanding what materiality is according to the SEC? And what do we as CSOs need to do to protect ourselves? You know, there's a last, you know, a, a criminal case in an SEC filing case. And there's always been a lot of talk around that. So uh, and I went to one talk where it was the audience was asking a blend of the questions. What should the company be doing and what should we be doing for ourselves? Uh, so those were some great perspectives. And the classic is, of course, this is a team sport. So we need to do better integration with the CFO, the legal team, public relations, you know, and make sure we're a member of a team. And on the personal side, there was a lot of discussion around just making sure that, that we're a peer of the, like, for example, the CFO. Does a CFO have insurance protecting them in the case of legal actions? And if they do, then, you know, we would expect that we would be treated similar. Um, I, AI is a hot topic, um, and it, it's going to have more impact long term than something like blockchain. Uh, there was discussion around quantum, which, which is a little bit, you know, how to protect yourself if quantum actually is broken, you know, for security and and um, I think, but, but AI was by far the biggest topic and it's where we have a lot to learn on the fraud side. I mentioned, I, I love to, to think about fraud, the scams, how we partner with the fraud teams and, and, and those other teams to integrate our protection of our customers. A return fraud was an interesting topic for me this year. You know, it continues to grow and how, how they do it. Um, are they attacking the customers? Are they attacking the company? Um, and, and how all of that is working. So I found that fascinating. And of course, this is a 15 year that SANS gave their talk. I always find that, you know, a great insight. Uh, 10 years ago, their talks were very technical. It was about malware. This year, they talked a little bit more. One of the talks you've heard me, or one of the topics you've heard me talk about is technical debt. You know, are you, are you, do you have old language? Are you using open source? A lot around, you know, our legacy issues and, and the debt that brings. Um, sextortion, uh, you know, and not people capturing images, capturing conversations, threatening to out you. But there was something that surprised me. The first was the use of AI to create an image of you that isn't real and extort you through something you didn't even do, doesn't seem very cricket, or um, the age group. You know, they talked about going after 15 year old boys because they're the most likely to pay, which is just makes my heart sick. But again, an area where we need to think about who we're protecting and when we're protecting them. Younger and younger, we need to protect our loved ones. Uh, you talked about election security and how important that is for our trust of our government. And finally, how AI is hacking, uh, helping hackers, uh, things like shell GPT and other things like that. 